Hello, I'm back today with Dixie Plates Love 2018. Um, and if you just want a quick look at the plate, let's go on ahead and do that first. There we go. All right, let's dive on in. I'm starting with these awesome hot air balloons. I'm from Northern California, so like that means wine country to me and I love, I've always wanted to go in one, but I'm always terrified of going in one. Um, but I still love them anyway, at least as a design element, no matter what. And I love this with the little um, flirty clouds. I would love layering these two together. I think that would be so adorable. And then we've got this little patchwork quilt of hearts. I think you'd use this very simply, like stamping white over pink. Or you could go in um, and make a decal and, you know, do some of these, some colors, some of these other colors. I just had somebody on one of my other videos say that they filled in some empty hearts with glitter. I think that could be really cool with this design as well. Um, you could even, you could go in and stamp it the way this is. And then um, on the dots, do the dots a different color for a little variation. A similar kind of thing here and I do think that these uh, mix and match even though they're kind of a little bit different stylistically they both have kind of a slightly whimsical bent to them but you could make decals with this you could just stamp it in one color over another color to make it super easy you could go in and play around with these little the little flowers in here um you know turn them into little dots or add little dots to add color that could be a lot of fun um, I love, okay, so she's got this in English, all of the different English things, and then we've got this in different languages, so je t'aime in French, ich liebe dich, I think, in German, I apologize for everybody whose ears I just hurt trying to say that. Um, this is really cute, like knots in wood, like in, you know, like in the grain of wood. I think that's so cute. And that would be fun to um, go in in one color and then color in the hearts, like stamp them again in a second color or something like that. Um, adorable little heart cure. So I think of it like a dot cure and you could go in pretty easily with a dotting tool and do a few of these hearts a different color. You do kind of like one dot on this side, one dot on that side, and then just pull it down a little bit um, and practice a few times and then you won't have too much of a problem with it. It's not too to, you'll be able to do it. It'll look adorable. Trust me. Um, some stripes. And one of the things I like, these are kind of like slightly wiggly, which gives them sort of a, a country-ish, homey feel. And one of the things that I desperately want to do with this, I'm super excited about, is I want to take these down here, the Love You and the Be Mine, and stamp them over this. Like, like stamp this maybe in white over red and then have Love You in black running across it. Oh my gosh, how cute would that be? So here you have some cross stitch hearts, which is absolutely cute on its own, especially um, if you do any kind of needlepoint, you'll love that. Um, I think this goes with any of the sort of sweater manicures that, um, because those are usually either pixelated or in a kind of a cross stitch style, and this is like that pixelated cross stitch style. Love this. Again, you could go in and color these hearts or put glitter, let lead light over them, um, or just let the gorgeous polish under th underneath shine through. And she gives you the negative and the positive, so you can mix and match that. And I think that always gives you a little bit more design flexibility. I also think that both of those go with this, which I'm thinking of as the iCat heart. And my second apology, I never know if I'm saying that right either. Uh, but, you know, the one with the little the stuff that goes up and down like that, I think this would be really cute. And you could stamp this and then, like, go over it and kind of do an iCat over, like, just the center of each heart. Maybe, oh, like, do this layer in white this layer in pink, this layer in red, each of the little insides of the hearts, play around with different colors. That'd be so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, love the little lovebirds, love the little lovebirds in the swing. Adorable. These to me look like coffee rings and I, and I think that's so cute to have like coffee ring hearts. That's adorable. Uh, love is in the air. And of course, I think that goes super well with this and this. And, you know, so you could even just do a whole mani with this and then have that on one nail. That would be really cute. And I love that it's in the shape of a heart. I wonder if they really make them like that. I wonder if you could, if that would actually be aerodynamic or if it would just, I don't know, but that would be cute to have a hot air balloon like that. I adore that she did actual hands like this, and I think you could easily, you know, you could stamp this in black over, you know, red manicure or whatever, and it'll look just fine in a single pass, but you could go in and color the hands if you wanted to, whatever flesh tone matches yours, and that would be really, really cute. Um, I love that, like, it's letting go of the heart, and the, the fingers are matching the shape of the heart. That's really cute. Je t'aime and the flying heart there, and just plain love. Or if you just want a heart that says love for Valentine's Day, I think that's adorable. 
um, there. This is really popular this year the with the L-O-V-E and the arrows. That's adorable. And there's so many plates that have arrows on them that, you know, mixing and matching with that would be easy, easy. And then the XOXO, I love that. Um, I've already said how much I adore this because I think that any polish that you have, you could have the simplest, just most elegant manicure to just run this across your nails. And that's it just in black, just in white. I think that they, any, any single color over any other single color would be elegant and sweet and just adorable, especially like really low on uh, the nail, the tip of the nail. I think that would be super, super fun. Of course you can't, you know, we can't be loved without kisses and kissy faces. Mm. And then you've got the girl guy and the girl kissing. So how cute would that be surrounded by one or more little kissy faces? And then check out all the little scribble drawing people. Oh my goodness. So, I mean, I think, again, just if you had some color that you wanted, a hollow that you wanted, and you stamp these in white or a light pink or a black, um, and then you've got these little drawings, and you don't have to worry about coloring them in because they're line, they're little line drawing comic things, and nobody would expect those to be, you know, drawn in and colored in. And so you've got simple, fun manicure, and you've got the proposal, and you've got the little love, and you've got them dancing. You've got the, net. it's kind of like Netflix and chill, although look, she's looking away. So I don't know about that one. I think you need to watch out guy. Um, and then with the balloons and I mean, just uh, so adorable. And I don't know if it's like a thing where you live, but where I live, everybody has like on the back of their car, they have these little kind of sticky figures, one for each person in their family. So, um, if, if you like that kind of thing, this would be, you know, adorable. So the full nail images are about, this one it looks like it's uh, just over 2.1 centimeters wide, two and a half centimeters tall and here is a quick shot with the ruler so you can get a feel for how big all of those other ones are. All right, for my stamping test, I'm going to use Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Midnight Drive, and I'm going to use my clear stamper. great quality plate. The images came out very well, uh, so I would definitely recommend it. I will link everything down below, and thank you for watching. Over. Really? My puppies and my kitties are chasing each other. They want their food. Mama's gotta finish the videos before you get fed.